Well, let us discuss one final problem, shall we? Yeah, in Bernoulli's principle, so far we have been looking at pipes with one entry and one exit. Some of you might be wondering, well, is it possible for us to apply Bernoulli's principle for branching pipes, for pipes that has more than one entry and one exit? Is it possible? Yeah. Well, of course it's possible, my dear people. Of course it's possible. Yeah. And that is what we are going to be looking at in this particular section. Okay. So what do we have here? They say below diagram and table shows the conditions for a branching pipe. Okay, so there is water coming in through pipe A and B. They are mixing together and the water is exiting through pipe C. Fantastic. Okay. Um, using Bernoulli's principle, find the pressure at the inlet pipes A and B. Ah, so we have to find the pressure at A and pressure at B and also the velocity of flow in pipe C. So we have to find C, C, otherwise velocity of section C. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what is given in the table. Yeah. About section A, what do we know? The diameter is 0.25 meter. I see. So this pipe is 0.25 meter and it is at an elevation of 5 meter. Okay, it is at an elevation of 5 meter and the velocity with which the water, let us say water, you know, is flowing in unless and until they give you what is the specific liquid, just assume it to be water. Yeah. So the velocity is 12 meters per second. We do not know the pressure. That is what we have to find. Okay, and uh, for section B, what do we know? The diameter of the pipe is again 0.25, just like pipe A, and Z of B is 0 meter. Ah, I see. Okay, so B is the datum. Okay, okay, and the velocity with which water is flowing through B is 6 meters per second. I see. Okay, so P2, we do not know. Yeah, what do we know about section C? We know that it is 0.3 meter in diameter. I see. Okay, so this is 0 0.25, 0 0.25. This is a larger diameter. Uh huh. And it is at an elevation of 2 meter from the datum. So from the datum, it's at an elevation of 2 meter. We do not know what is the velocity with which the water is coming out of this tube, but we know that it is coming out with a pressure of 50 kilopascals okay that's fine let's solve this problem yeah i've just redrawn the diagram here again so what do we have to find we have to find the velocity at section c pressure at section a and pressure at section b it's very simple yeah so in order to find the velocity at section C, I am using the uh, continuity equation. What do we know? The volumetric flow rate A plus the volumetric flow rate B equals the volumetric flow rate C. Otherwise, do you remember whatever flows in should flow out? Whatever flowing in is in A and B, flowing out is C. Yeah, And we know the diameter and the velocity. So I'm using it as area A times velocity A plus area B velocity B equals area C velocity C. Yeah, I'm just expanding on this equation and substituting everything that we know. We know this area A is pi by 4 into the diameter we know is 0 0.25 meter. So 0 0.25 square times 12 that is the velocity plus similarly for uh, pi by 2 pi by 4 d square times cb equals this one yeah pi by 4 is a common element so i'm canceling it out everywhere 
yeah and by just simple rearranging of equation we'll be able to get the velocity at section c so the velocity at section c i have found it to be 12.5 meters per second otherwise that is the velocity with which water will come out of section c yeah okay now let us find pa the pressure in section a yeah pressure in section a i am going to be applying bernoulli's equation between section a and section c yeah i am not going to take section b i am only going to take section a and section c so what do we have here uh, the pressure head velocity head and the datum head of section a equals the pressure head velocity head and the datum head of section c yeah they have not really mentioned about any losses have they so we are assuming that there are no losses here okay now we do not know p a that is the unknown we know rho and g we know c a we know z a we know the pressure at point c yeah we know that we also know what is the velocity at point c we have just found out and we also know zc so the only unknown is pa all that i'm doing is i'm just subst i'm just rearranging the equation and substituting everything that we know yeah both these things go to the other side of equal to sign and become negative so that's why negative c a square by 2g positive z a becomes negative z a yeah if we substitute everything and simplify put it in calculator i get the pressure in section a to be 26.64 into 10 power 3 pascals or 26.6 kilopascal yeah now look here you in order to find the pressure at uh, b by b you can do exactly what i have done here you can take bernoulli's equation between point c and point b yeah and just have different values substitute and everything's exactly the same yeah i will show you what i have done but I just think it's important for you to try it on your own. If you want to try it on your own, pause this video now and try it. There you go. This is the answer. This is the pressure B that I am getting. Yeah. Oh, the only thing that I want to make sure uh, that you know is that ZB is the datum. So that's why I put it as zero yeah okay fantastic hope you are all clear about this problem if you have any questions whatsoever let us look at it during the lectorial or during the tutorial yeah i would really encourage all of you to attend both the lectorials and the tutorials bravo people take care bye